how many motoring channels on YouTube start in the back of a D-Max with a pool of water, bits of old hay, and what appears to be, I think, uh, a paint roller. <laughs> yeah, welcome to another rubbish video. Um, we are now officially in lockdown, and the, 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 the slight cackling you heard from the, my left-hand side is my, my son, my son who owns the Range Rover, who turned 15 this week, so I'll say a big happy birthday to, to my son, who's more camera shy than I am, so he won't be appearing in this video, but his car will be, and the results of one of his first misdemeanors will also be appearing in this video. Right, without further ado, I'm going to crack on because um, I don't know how long it's been. It's been a month, I'm sure, at least, since I did the last rubbish video. And um, I thought it was high time I gave an update on the fleet, the 15-car fleet. And this is very much off the cuff. This is very much sort of um, as if I was exploring the cars or taking you through the cars for the first time. So if you arrived at my house today and said, Gav, show me your fleet of rubbishness, this is what I would do. Um, I will say, if I haven't mentioned before, because I can't remember what I have said, is that we are in lockdown now. Um, so we are keeping social distancing at, at, at a priority, but I am not wearing a face mask, so please keep your distance from me. And look at this. Look at this. This is a Tupperware pot full of keys. It's like the world's worst swingers party. You, you just wouldn't want to get any of those keys in a swingers party. You know, you, you'd, you'd be the world's worst catch. Unless, of course, you went home in a Range Rover. Maybe that's, that's quite posh, isn't it? Um, anyway, so we're going to go through each car. The D-Max, not much to say other than the fact that water gets into the, into the canopy when it rains and sort of drops down to the back. So we are going to put goldfish in there at some point if this lockdown continues. And actually, the D-Max has been off the road for a while because we've been running a um, L200 uh, for Diesel Car Magazine. Um, so, yeah, the D, the D Max, the D D D D D Max has been surplus to requirements. Um, but she'll be, she'll be back. She'll be back as soon as the Mitsubishi goes back in a few weeks. She'll be back on the road. Um, she's also, I think, she's out of MOT now. But it's a formality on an Isuzu D Max because they are literally one of the most reliable cars in the world, allegedly. Anyway, and this one thing, can I just say, one thing this hasn't got, which a D Max, which the L two hundred has got, is a damped tailgate drop bottom tailgate because these are these are heavier than the Royal Albert Hall here we go you know world's strongest man has got nothing on the shutting the D-Max right the first two cars on our tour of tat um, are linked in some way um, this month because I don't know if you've noticed but a scratch or two has appeared on the 100 pound Laguna and it might have something to do <laughs> with my son's Range Rover. <laughs> um, yeah, he's had his first prang at the age of 14. Um, it's quite funny, really. I think if you're going to choose any car to hit on the fleet, the 100-pound Laguna is, your, is the car to do it with. If it had been a Mercedes or the Corrado, there may have been tears before bedtime. And actually, there were tears before bedtime because he was distraught, which is fair enough. But like, these things happen. So it was dark it was, and it was raining and we were doing things in a hurry and m my son was helping by moving the Range Rover and actually towing a trailer at the same time, I think. I'm going to give him as many excuses as possible. And I was walking back from the Black Safran because that had to be moved as well. And I heard this sound of breaking plastic and the sound of something really heavy hitting something tinny and French. That was the sound I heard. And yeah, um, so what happened? I think it was fortunate in many ways because the bonnet wasn't shut. And it, you can see here that it's it sprung it sprung the um, the moustache, got sprung open. Sprung open, God, we're proper English today. And you can see the hole where the clip flew out. So actually it was a lucky escape. And if that's the only prang my son has in his lifetime, I'll take that, because um, I've had worse. Um, so there we go. A little repair job for him to carry on with. I mean, I could, I could try and start this, but I think I'm just going to go back. I'm going to sort of backpedal a little bit, a little bit and say there is a bit of context to this video because there hasn't been any videos recently because I've been really, really busy with freelance writing. Um, after the lockdown, when, uh, like many people, incomes went down to critical levels. I'm just recovering now. I've actually picked up a new client as well. And if you get a new client in these sort of scenarios, 
you want to impress them. So I've been pulling out all the stops to do the work for them as well. So the fleet, I think this is probably a month since I've even looked at the fleet properly. It's the first time I've actually opened bonnets and boots and whatnot. Um, so this is almost as seen. And there's also there's a bit of a bit more context to this that I am going to need extra storage, I think, this winter if I'm going to preserve the tat for 2021. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Um, should we start the Laguna? So we had to rummage around in the swingers pot, pot of doom for the least expensive car on the fleet, the 100 pound Laguna with the poshest key on the fleet. Okay, so she is isolated, a bit like all of us this year. Um, put the key in my pocket and try not to sit in it. If one thing um, any Laguna driver does at some point in their life is sit on the key. So I'll just, just connect her up. Uh, look at those leaves. It's lucky I, I like clearing out drainage channels um, because there's a lot of drainage to clear out there. I've probably got hedgehogs living in here. I think Chris Packer might be around later to look at the, look at the lockdown hedgehogs in my 100 pound Laguna. And she's got a real flat as well, a proper flat. I can't get any air in that. Um, so her problems are mounting, a bit like everybody else's. Let's see if we can, let's see if she fires into life, the 100 pound Laguna. Well, this is important. Look, there's a light work in there. No light work in there. Um, one thing that's not coming across on the video, unless technology's moved on a lot in the last month, is the smell of damp in here. Oh my God, look on the Range Rover. There's a... Alan Titchmarsh will tell us what that is. Or maybe Charlie Dimmock. There's something growing on the back of the Range Rover. That's a bit of a carbon offset going on. Oh no, look, no light. And, oh my God, are we down? Right, okay. The camera's, the camera's literally turned over in disgrace. We've only got one door light working. This is the opposite of Harry, Harry Metcalf's YouTube channel, isn't it? This is, this is how the other half live. This is how motoring's done at the opposite end of the scale. But look, let's be positive about this. Let's ignore the smell of damp. Let's ignore, let's ignore the single puddle light. And let's see what happens when we fire up the Laguna. See, that's, that's classy, isn't it? Right. So we'll fire up. You know, there wasn't a lot of life left in that, so I'm going to keep her running, but she started. And I think that's six weeks, seven or eight weeks. Oh, I shan't be changing gear today. Hmm. We'll leave her running and we'll go and explore the rest of the fleet. Moving on to car number two, if you can hear over the sound of the magnificent 1.9 DCI engine, we need to grab another key from the swingers pot of doom. And any, any woman worth her salt is gonna go for the Range Rover key, isn't she? Although it does say Land Rover on it, so she doesn't quite know what she's gonna get, but you know, there's a good chance it's gonna be something decent if it's got a Land Rover badge on the back. Or there's no chance you're gonna make it home. So you might stop on the lay bar on the way back. But anyway, look. The Range Rover, the Range Rover, the lockdown Range Rover with, a, with an accident to its name. Um, we've been talking about this car a lot over the last couple of days and actually we want to get this, this is going to be moved up the priority list. We want to get this MOT'd. We want to get it to a point and I've set my son a challenge to download a list of MOT checkpoints and we're going to run through every single checkpoint, see what we can do, see what we can't do. Um, one thing we are going to have to do is put a new tyre on the front or at least get those wheels resealed. Um, and then we're going to chuck her in for an MOT. Hopefully by, well, won't be the end by the end of the year now because we're locked down. Well, who knows? Let's not be, let's not be too optimistic, but we'll set her for an M MOT very shortly and we'll see what she can do. And again, she hasn't been started, hasn't been started, I don't think, for four weeks, possibly, possibly maybe more. So we're going we're gonna to fire her up now with my son. We're going we're gonna to get her moving. Okay, so we're going to open up the clamshell bonnet with the world's most expensive battery. Another one of these, which have been a lockdown legend over the past six weeks, six months even. Okay, so my son is going to climb into the car. One thing we haven't done yet is the... Um, what haven't we done? There's a few things to do. Anyway, she's got new oil now. I don't know if I said in the last video. She's had an oil change, oil and filter change which has made a huge difference. She's definitely smoother. Here we go. P38, un un 
I need uh, Uncharted. We're playing that game at the moment. Unstarted for five weeks. Here we go. Two out of two. Oh, suspension doing its thing. You see, the lady who picked the key for this car now is going to be very excited. She's going to be itching to get home in this bad boy. I'll say it's a good result. It's moving down the side of the car. There's no, no forest growing on this side. We do have the authentic dent. Fetch box sticker, which is important. Number plate still, still required. She's the only, one of only two cars on the fleet, well, actually three now, with Petroblog's least successful sticker, the Tolfudui sticker, um, which I'm actually quite proud of, but the world hates, judging by the sales on that sticker. Um, still got the authentic patina, which I'm sure the guys on Salvage Hunters would disagree on. I, I'm gonna, we, we're tempted to keep that. My son wants to keep that. Obviously, this needs to be done and a new set of plates would make all the difference. But I tell you something, for a spares or repair vehicle, this is great fun. Great fun. And it drives beautifully. It does smoke, um, but then a 188,000 mile diesel engine is gonna smoke. But she's much quieter and much smoother following the oil and filter change. Um, you change the rocker cover gasket. That's on the list of things to do. Okay, moving on over the sound of the diesels. I'm actually shouting, but it may not be any need to because the camera might be good enough. Fancy a bath? Um, camera's doing weird things. Right. Well, I'm going to jump to the gun, jump to the point on this one. This will not start. Um, so the lady who picks out, picks out the keys for this isn't going to go topless today because um, the battery's flat on this one. We know that from a couple of weeks ago. So she's living up to her French tap name. Having said that, having said that, she went straight through the MOT with a couple of advisories on the brakes. And I think that's really good. For a 500 pound McGann bought on a whim, uh, in a farm with some goats, she's been touch wood, brilliant to us. Um, she's got new tires on now, look. Full set of Falcons, mate. Um, haven't had a chance to really try them out yet. We put them on because we knew we needed three tires for the MOT. So we thought we'd just get four on. Um, like I say, we're going to sort the brakes out during lockdown, um, but she won't start. So there's no point trying. So the lady will not be going home in, in the Tesco Club Card Young Futures McGann. So I'll leave the keys on there because it will make it much easier for the ladies to pick out the keys from the box moving forward. Um, that, that joke's running thin now, isn't it? But we're going to go with it. And this is, this is the reality of cars that live outside for a month. This was washed four weeks ago. Um, we've got a tree above and every time it rains the leaves fall on it you see the leaves leave the mess so this is why i'm contemplating sending my children out to work to pay for some storage for the cars i think that's going to be the only way to do it um we'll set up an only fans where an only fans account <laughs> for french tat i'm quite delirious though. i didn't get any sleep last night because i was so excited about doing this video clearly um we'll leave we'll leave the diesels running um so if there's a, if any um, planes are flying over Dartmoor at the moment, you may notice some unexpected cloud cover. <laughs> it's because of those. But listen, they started. They started and they've, they're like a couple now. They got so close the other day, thanks to my then 14 year old son. They're like, a, they're like a little married couple. So we'll leave them to sort of contemplate and laugh at the French car sat next to them. <laughs> 